My mother was a, um, a single parent. My father died at a very young age, and she raised five of us by herself. And she was a pretty strong feminist and believed very strongly in supporting women. And uh, at some point when all five of us were out of the house and I was doing my Sunday conversation with her, I said, so what's new, Mom? And she said, well, I'm, I'm serving as a safe house. And I said, I beg your pardon? <laughs> You're, you're serving as a safe house for whom? And she said, well, you know, we don't have a domestic violence shelter in, in the town. And I said, well, no, I didn't think so. It's a pretty small town. And she said, you know, they really need a place for women to come just overnight till they can make other arrangements. And I said, you know, Mom, you live alone. Are you sure this is a really good idea? And she said, if I don't do it, who's going to do it? And it kind of just inspired me. At some point, a friend of mine who was actually on the board, who had been pestering me for a while to join Safe Berks, um, said, okay, your kids are all out of the house, you know, maybe you could think about doing it. And I said, oh, let me think about it. And, um, and I said, yeah, I, I will. So that was probably maybe seven or eight years ago. I answer the hotline, um, which are calls. This is a 24-hour number that's released to the community for people um, needing assistance either because of domestic violence or sexual assault. I help, we help the residents if they come to the front counter and they're kind of looking for kind of basic information like, you know, where, do you have any idea where I can buy clothes very inexpensively? Um, they may need what's called a shelter verification because they need to have proof of residence because they're changing their address maybe for um, cash assistance through Department of Human, Health and Human Services. Um, we could be getting them some type of supply if it's handy to us to get, uh, having them maybe schedule an appointment with their caseworker. You know, I think the fact that we are more than just a shelter, I think, is extremely valuable. You know, a lot of DV centers don't have the legal assistance that we have for PFAs. They don't have a counseling department, which I just think is fantastic. Um, but I think the other part of it, besides providing services, I think the fact that we have a group of people that can do education in the community is invaluable. It's the only way, the only way we're going to stop this is by education. So I think what I would like to see for the future is that for the employees of Safe Berks, that there are more resources even available to them, because I think they deserve that in order to continue doing the amazing work that they do every day. I think they're, what they do is just fantastic, and I wish we had you know, four or five times the amount of funding that we could do more for people who have been victims.